Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. So I'm taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360 5G, which might actually be the ultimate portable laptop considering how thin and light it is. It flips around 360 degrees, turns into a tablet, but also has that 5G connectivity. I wanna give a big thanks to MediaTek for sponsoring this video and sending over this laptop for us to check out. Now, why would MediaTek send this laptop? Because they power the 5G inside with MediaTek's T700 5G modem. Now, this modem was actually announced in a partnership with Intel, so this does have an Intel chip inside. However, the modem for the 5G connectivity is made by MediaTek. Anyways, we are going to unbox this laptop from Samsung, check out what comes inside it, and then of course get some hands-on with this very portable laptop and even test out some of its 5G capabilities. Let's get started. Opening the Galaxy Book Pro 360 5G, this is the Mystic Silver color. Here on the right is our charging brick, which uses USB Type-C and actually is a 65 watt brick for charging. We are going to set our laptop to the side for just a second, continue through USB Type-C to Type-C charging cable that is included. Also up towards the top, you do have their S Pen, which is great to see since the screen is a touch screen and this is included. Because it is 360, it flips all the way around into a tablet. And finally, quick start guide, warranty information, and a SIM ejection tool because it does have that 5G connectivity. And onto what you came to see, the Galaxy Book Pro 360 5G. First of all, I'm noticing how crazy light and thin this device is in a 13.3 inch form factor. Let's take a closer look at the hardware. On the left side, two USB Type-C ports, one of them Thunderbolt, a micro SD card slot for some expandable storage. Just looks like a status light there. Moving along a cutout for opening it up. We'll do our one-handed test in just a second. Along the right side here is that SIM card slot, of course, with that network connectivity, another USB Type-C port, and the headphone jack. A quick look at the back hinge and the ventilation that it does have back here. But again, just notice how truly thin this device actually is. Down at the bottom, sound by AKG. Make note that these grips have little plastic tabs on them, so make sure to peel those off so your device doesn't slide on the table. And like always, let's do our one-handed opening test. And this actually passed. I'm kind of surprised with how light it is. You can open this laptop with one hand, no problem. A quick look at the keyboard and trackpad, and keep in mind the MediaTek T700 5G modem will bring 5G call and data connectivity to these Intel-powered PCs and notebooks, hence the Intel Evo i5 sticker there. And if you notice, the power button has an embedded fingerprint scanner. Always love to see that. So peeling that sticker off, we're gonna boot this PC up for the first time. And while it boots up, we'll talk about anything that's noteworthy during the startup process. Out of the box, you do get Windows 11 and that fingerprint scanner actually has Windows Hello built into it. So when you do press it, it will sign in for you from the lock screen so you don't have to type in your passcode every time. Let's set that up, fairly easy. And again, this is also the power button. So I'm guessing that while it's on the lock screen, if you press the power button with your finger that's registered, it will unlock it right away. You don't have to press it twice technically or set your finger on it twice. And there we go, you're all set. You can add more fingerprints later if you'd like to. All right, we are all set up and ready to go with our Galaxy Book Pro 360 5G. Let's take a closer look at that hinge because not only do you get this premium PC, it also converts into a high-end tablet, especially with it being such a light and thin device. It's great for your, you know, when you're on the go, whether you're working or using it for personal use. And taking a look at that hinge, You'll notice it goes all the way back 360 degrees, turns into a tablet. You can use it vertically. You don't have to just use it horizontally. Obviously, with it running Windows, you have a full PC in a tablet form with the included S Pen. And obviously, have to make note, this is a 1080p 13.3 inch AMOLED display that Samsung has included. I really do like Samsung's AMOLED displays specifically because 
in the darker areas, it's true blacks. It doesn't even turn on any pixels, just like you have on a lot of phones nowadays. And it has MediaTek's T700 5G modem going into connections. You'll notice I'm connected to Wi-Fi right now because I'm in my home, but even if I disconnect, it stays connected to that 5G, whatever network you are specifically on. And with 5G, it also, if you're not in a 5G area, no worries, it still has compatibility with previous generations. So if you're in an LTE area, it will connect to LTE over if it, there's no 5G connectivity available. And for the sake of the video, obviously focusing on its 5G connectivity, you'll see I'm not connected to Wi-Fi with these bars. That is the 5G connectivity. I'm gonna run a quick speed test. It's going to be completely different depending on where your location is. Uh, what network you're running on. I'm obviously in an apartment. I'm not outside with a little bit better signal if I'm closer to a tower. Depends on how far away you are. All that good stuff. So just kind of keep that in mind. I'm just doing it to show you some type of speeds that you can get. Again, this is just in my apartment. I'm getting 108, over you know 190 megabits a second. Download speeds pretty crazy fast. And even upload speeds are very good. So just about as good as you can get it on your home network even while I'm at home inside my apartment. Also want to make note with that seamless 5G connectivity, you can game, stream, video chat, and it will help save your battery life. When it comes down to it, this laptop has been fantastic on the go, especially now that it's getting warmer outside, going to coffee shops, or even just full days traveling if I go to the L in Chicago. And Chicago, at least with the network I'm on, has a lot of 5G connectivity, so I was able to test it out all around the city. And with that being said, I was really impressed with how efficient the battery life actually was while I was using it very similarly at home on Wi-Fi when I went out and about and used it on the 5G network. Battery life seemed to drain at a similar uh, amount of time. Something else great having 5G on a laptop when out and about is that added layer of security so you don't have to connect to public Wi-Fi at all to actually get to the internet, get online, so you can start your video streaming, your conference calls, whatever you're doing when you're out and about. Something I like about Samsung laptops is the additional apps that they do add scrolling through. There's a ton, including live message, link sharing, and keep going down under Samsung. There's a ton of different ones to just kind of enhance your PC experience. So definitely be sure to check all of these out. A couple that I really like is Quick Share, so you can quickly share files uh, with your other devices. And even Samsung Updates nice because it will find all of these updates for me. You'll notice, uh, you know, the LAN driver needs to be updated. I can just hit Update All and it will do it all for me. I don't have to go through um, just and find the drivers on my own. Samsung takes care of that. As usual, just a quick typing sound test. I actually do like how it feels while typing. It actually gives some good travel, uh, some pretty crisp feedback when you're pressing it in. It just pops up pretty nice. It feels very premium. Overall, I really enjoyed using this laptop or tablet, whatever way you decide to use it. It has been fantastic and a game changer to have that 5G connectivity on a laptop. You don't even have to think about it when you leave your house. When it disconnects from that Wi-Fi, it will automatically connect to that 5G or 4G LTE if you're not in a 5G network area. And with its size and weight, it really is the ultimate laptop for portability because you have that 5G network connection on the outside as well. With the touchscreen, with the S Pen, it has so many, it's just feature packed overall. So really great option if you're looking for a laptop to bring with you that's thin, light, and has all of these crazy good features. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. A lot more content coming soon, so be sure to click that subscribe button. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well. And as always, thanks for watching.